All right, the hike out of here begins now. So, this is the valley. It's obviously daytime now, it's afternoon actually. This is the valley, this is that big boulder. This is Spiral Helix behind me. It's actually all in the shade now, wow. I was climbing in the sun. I'm not gonna tell you if I said it or not. You'll have to just wait and find out. All right, so we're gonna make our way out. Oh my gosh, I'm falling over. Hope my hat's not blocking the... Here, let me fix my hat. I think I might be blocking the camera. All right, now we should be good. So I'll bet I will see tons of lizards out here. Maybe not other reptiles. Lizards are very common. I really have only seen like one or two snakes. So there's like the rouse snake. And I saw this thing, what I believe is called a patch nose snake. It's like a little baby guy too. Unless they're all small, I'm not actually sure. I didn't research them that much, but I saw that in the very front. Uh, I was at that one little hole I showed you in the video on the way in. All right, so we're going downhill. This hike out of here is much, much easier than the hike going up to there. <laughs> so, because obviously I'm going downhill instead of uphill now. It's really not that steep, but it's just like rugged. So, going downhill is not bad because it's not steep. It's just rugged though. Just gotta watch your step, really. So, I'm gonna take the exact same way out that I came in. So I'm gonna walk right by the, you know, actually I'm not going to, I changed my mind. I'm gonna uh, mix it up. So we'll walk down to the drum still, and then I'm gonna go down towards the pink lady area instead. And then we'll uh, go out from there. So the desert sun is out right now, it's very warm. It's probably like 80s right now, low 80s, but it'll warm up to 90 later in the day. So if I were to stay here, it would be a very, very hot hike coming out of here. And you can't see right now, obviously, because I have my camera on my head, strapped to my head, but I have like my shirt tied down on my head heard something up there it's like someone's sneezing <laughs> yeah i have my but i have my shirt tied down right now and then my hat on top of my head so i'm trying to protect myself from the sun from the heat don't really want to get burnt a lot of exposure out here not a lot of coverage I mean, just the rocks really when you walk under them but obviously there's no trees shrubbery there's vegetation but it's not trees there are trees out here in st george just not here and it's crazy you go like 45 minutes north and there's just like forests everywhere but out here just still desert so you can actually see st george from here perhaps it looks very small on the camera compared to what i'm seeing with my bird's eye view my bird's eye view my it's not bird's eye view i don't know why i said that it was my actual view but you can see here actually i'll wait till i get a little bit further up here wait till i get to the drum but you can see that there's a real big mountain out there that was covered with snow the entire winter now there's just barely any snow on it here i can look from here so obviously you can see the entrance to mose valley right down there straight ahead and you can see buildings out past that that's like saint george and then off to the left, there's a real tall mountain. I don't know if you can pick it up too easily on the camera, but that's, I actually don't remember the name of that mountain. I should know it because I've lived here long enough now, but I don't know it off the top of my head. But that's the biggest mountain nearby and it's very tall. Never been up there obviously, but um, that's the biggest mountain nearby. I thought that was a snake. It scared me. Um, yeah. Very beautiful out here, there's mountains all around. 
not the biggest mountains in the world but they're they're all around us still very cool all right so i'm going to take a different route obviously down like i said so this was the spider drum right here so i'm i went uh down through there that's where i came up through all those rocks and then down there and there's like whiskey rail you can see this big mound of dirt and that big rock there that's whiskey rail so we're gonna actually go down this way to the other side of the spider drum and like i said earlier it's like all choss the spider drum well you can see like again coming around from this side it's just literally just straight choss like it's just absolutely bizarre how there's like beautiful alien like perfect features just appear on that one side and it's like the tallest side too so it's like perfect for climbing and then just the rest of it's just like garbage it's pretty crazy now this is a bit more steep and rugged this way which you can see which is one of the reasons i don't like taking it if when you have all your pads on you it's very much a pain in the butt and the other reason is the other way is a more of a straight shot now if obviously you're in this direction you're like out in south valley or in the pink lady area it would make more sense to hike up this way to get to spiral helix if you're doing that if you're going up to that prom but otherwise it's not really worth it <clears throat> all right so then we hike down this big rock there's this big cave looking thing here pretty cool i've never actually walked up to this before kind of cool there's this big feature thing right here it looks like it's gonna snap in half probably if someone yanked on it this big rock thing pretty cool though there's this giant twig stick down there i wonder where that came from I don't know how there's a stick like that here. Someone must have brought it in and threw it down there. I guess it could have come from this tree. Is that really even a tree though? It's more like a bush. I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah, but this is a lot worse of a... The, uh, this approach going up to the hill is much worse. And you can kind of see it behind me and you can see that tallest rock up there. It's this spider drum there. <clears throat> all right so we're going to come up on the swan first this is again now we're in like the pink lady area technically at this point so this is the swan up here this is probably one of my favorite v7s at mose valley absolutely incredible climb very actually aesthetic this one too i don't really care about aesthetic too much with climbing but this one's actually pretty cool it's a cool little drop off here but you don't really fall there on the climb and you should just start down here on this like rail actually that one i guess you could start there it wouldn't change the grade but everyone just starts there just big jug rail um there's like this awesome rail here feature next and then um there's like a crimp down here that you take or right under here and then you literally do a giant move to this lip here Oh, actually, no, you hit, you hit this spot right here. You hit this spot. You can see what that hold looks like. It's not incredible. But you're, like, so compressed that it actually feels really good. But it's just, like, a sloper. It's got, like, a divot for your middle finger. If you got small fingers, like, two. And then you got this awesome meat hook, like, triangular meat hook thing. It's super cool. Very cool climb. And then we'll continue on. This is the Goose, it's a V4, very two classic climbs, the Goose and the Swan. It's just absolutely gigantic jugs, very cool features. I remember when I came here, or really just when I lived back in India, I didn't think jugs existed really outside, just from what I was told, and they really exist. Like, look at this, this is bigger than any jug you'll find in a gym. Huge jug, absolute monstrous jug, so very cool very cool climb it's a pretty nice one i've done it probably like a handful of times and then here's obviously the classic pink lady and the buka 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 climbs and we got spectro as well actually spectro is right here you just two jugs and dead point of the lip somewhat tricky outro and we've got pink lady absolutely incredible climbs probably one of my favorite sixes here you just start all the way back in there i'm not going to show you but you have these just actually incredible like ripple features don't understand at all how they formed and then even here you got these two like big meat hook things 
I don't know if I can capture very well, but there's like this guy and this thing. And there's just like these giant meat hook like squares. They're so cool. I don't know. It's just incredible, this, the features on this thing. I don't know how it formed that way. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah, it's so cool, the intro. And then you hit like this very painful pocket, but it's actually still a pretty cool hold, but it just sucks that it's painful. And then absolutely bizarre feature here too, just like that tongue hold is what they call this. And then you just got jugs to top out. Very cool climb, super awesome. And then Buka Buka Buka's here. It's a V13 and it's crazy because it's like four moves and the holds are like really good. <laughs> the moves are just giant and it's actually very technical. So that's a very cool climb. Obviously, I have no chance on that climb currently. And there's like two nines right here. <clears throat> and this is the Boris boulder. Boris is right down there. This is a Finneret. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Piece of wood. What the? Oh, so I saw a creature. This climb is pretty cool looking. Again, I don't really care for aesthetics, so I don't really go after problems that are like beautiful looking, but that one is pretty cool looking, I will admit. So that's the Pink Lady area. So like I said before, that's Whiskey Rail. So I came up that way. I took probably a bit too long of a detour there, but I just had to stop and show you those, whole, those routes are so cool. So now we're gonna continue taking a different route out of here. I mean, it's gonna link back to the, you know, the main trail, but which you'll be familiar with if you watched my previous video. Otherwise, probably is gonna look pretty foreign, all this, but <laughs> yeah. Again, South Valley is like right here. It's all super close together. Like this area is awesome. It's literally just all tucked in this valley. Super close. You can see the trails are pretty already very established, very well traveled. I mean, people hike these for fun. I think I mentioned that before already. It's not just climbers that come here. People bike too. You'll see people biking all along this ridge. People hike up here too along the ridge too. There's trails up there. So there's just all sorts of stuff here to do. All right, continuing on. I'm eating an apple right now, so I want to take a couple bites. I don't want it to get mushy in the heat. So we're coming up on TP that's up here. Which that should be familiar if you watched the previous hike video. Oh, my camera's still running. Let me double check. All right, sorry. I just stopped to make sure I was filming. Would really suck if I was talking the whole time. I think my camera's on. Thought so I was filming, but I didn't catch anything. So I just stopped to check real quick. I'm really hoping to see like a, something. I, I generally think I'm not seeing anything because I'm not looking for it. Which I'm not really looking for them, the critters anyways when I walk, when I'm like around here, but I don't know, maybe I'm just being too noisy because I'm talking. And when I'm just walking by myself, not talking to the camera, to viewers, they don't hear me. I don't know. I know snakes don't have ears. They're not able to hear sounds. They just feel vibrations and see. I believe lizards are quite similar. I don't believe they have ears at all. So I don't think there's lizards hearing me coming, but I don't know. I'm not being any louder or any more uh, disruptive than I normally would be. So I'm not sure. There's also like jackrabbits out here. There's like rabbits, I forgot about that. There's jackrabbits and then there's, um, an, I think it's like an antelope hare it's called or something. I don't remember. I don't really see them anymore, but when I, when it first started to like get warm out, I would see them pretty frequently. Uh, maybe it's too hot now, I don't know. I wouldn't think it would be. 
I'm sure it's not. I mean, they live out here. This is their environment, their ecosystem. I would be surprised. I don't know much about them, though. But. All right, so this is, again, TP. These two borders, this is the Ripple border and then TP. Sorry about that, my camera turned off again for a second. It might be overheating, so I may not actually be able to finish this video. We'll see. Because <laughs> once it starts to overheat, it's, it is pretty much done So after that point. I know the battery's good. I checked the battery, so it should be fine, but it might be overheating because like I said, it's very hot. And my GoPro tend, uh, GoPros overheat pretty easily in the they don't do well in, in extreme temperatures, either it's the heat or the cold. So I actually do have uh, batteries for this that are better in the heat, but I think the actual GoPro itself, like the system, the computer that technically is in there doesn't do well with the heat. Even if the battery is better, I don't think the actual GoPro itself, it's uh, the, oper the electronics inside do well with heat. All right, well, I'm heading up the hill now to exit the main valley here. And again, you can kind of look, you can see all the valley here. Very, very cool. Very beautiful place, honestly. So, definitely will miss it when I leave in about two weeks. But I think I'll make another trip out here at least some point in my life. May not like stay in the St. George area, but I'd like to live out here again. So, because I am moving soon, if you didn't know that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make our way up the hill. Again, this is not gonna be nearly as strenuous as it was on the way in, because I'm not going up, I'm going down. Obviously I'm going up right now, but, that's, but this is fine. This is just paved and it's, well not paved, but it's flattened and wide, not rocks everywhere. At least not big ones. The wind is really picking up. The wind picks up here in the afternoon for some reason. I don't really know why. My friend noticed it too. It like really picks up in the afternoon. I'm not actually sure what the reason behind that is, but it picks up a lot in the afternoon. There are times here that I've been here, it gets very, very windy. Not that often, but there's like one or two times I've been here that it was probably like 25 mile an hour winds, perhaps close, or maybe like 20, at least 20, dude. I'm telling you, they're, they're at least 20. And you, your pads would be flying away. You'd be like on a climb and your pads would just fly away. I was on a, a highball one time. I, you'll see the video. I'm pretty sure I recorded that go. Um, Maybe I won't show it, I don't know. But, oh, look at that big lizard. Look at him going. He's big. That's one of those long ones, though. The ones with like the yellow speckled on their back. They're like greenish, brownish. But they got like yelled speckles on their back. But yeah, I was on a highball one time and I literally, <clears throat> like it's like a 20 foot, it's the TP boulder, it's the ripple boulder actually, the ripple boulder. That one back there is like a V4 on it. And the outro is, you know, it's easy. It's just like V0, V1. You're just like, like good holds and pretty good feet. But it's tall, you know. Um, it's like slab too, a little slabby. And I was on the out, like probably halfway up it. So maybe like, I don't know, around like 10 to 15 feet there at like height on the border I was probably about that high up and big gust of wind comes and blows my pads away I'm like 15 feet up I'm like well I could down climb or I could just go for it <laughs> and I'm, I just end up going for it anyways but uh, again it was like chill but it was just like I was like oh my gosh like like that's uh that's pretty inconvenient that the my pads get blown away on a high ball and again it was like you know easy it's like V4, it's like, you know, V1. But, dude, this looks like an indoor jug. Like an indoor climbing jug. Like, 
it's like flattened here too and this is like where the bolt would go and there's just a big jug flake that's crazy it'd be like so cool to bring that home and like bolt it on the wall but it would snap for sure but it looks cool all right well we're heading down now again that's uh that's the uh, main valley just over there we just walked through there yeah, my GoPro hasn't turned off yet. It's probably about to now that I said that, but it seems to be holding up now. So I don't really know if it, why it turned off a minute, like a couple minutes ago. Okay, it didn't die just now. I just turned it off because I was curious. I heard something over there earlier, man. I'm just curious. There's so many like little like den like little features like that around here. It's like there's just gotta be something sleeping in there, right? But I never see anything. I mean, you would think it'd be during the day too, right? Because they get animals are like most a lot of these animals are active at night, like snakes and stuff. But <clears throat> I guess not. I don't really think they actually live in like a little den like that. Maybe like a animal, like a mammal would, but I don't think the snakes really would. But it would be a nice place to hide from the shade. I think they actually go down underground where their den is, but I don't know if that's true either. I really don't know that much about snakes. If there's anyone in, this, in here that knows a lot about snakes, you can feel free to inform me because I'm very curious. Obviously I can just look it up on Google myself, but what is this? It's like a patch of fur. I don't know what that's from. I guess it would be from one of those like rats or or from like a rabbit. Now if you're worrying about mountain lions, um, obviously, you know, they can go wherever they want to, but uh, this is not really mountain lion territory. No one's really ever spotted a mountain lion here. Again, it's not to say that's impossible. I mean, they can, animals can go wherever the heck they want to. It's not like, you know, they're like restricted to a certain spot. You know, they can go travel wherever. So it's possible you could see a mountain lion here, but it's very unlikely. Especially because this is not super high elevation. So I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that <clears throat> animals they like they'll like they'll migrate up higher to higher elevations um when it gets warmer out i mean it could be wrong about that but I, i'm pretty sure it's when it gets warmer so like right now in like the summer like like the deer and the mountain lions would be going to higher elevations because it gets too hot for them um, but maybe I'm wrong about that and they actually it's the opposite and they come down when it gets to the winter Because it's like too cold or something and snowy But I don't think that's the case I'm just really looking man. I just want to see something There's nothing in there at least not that I can see I always check that little that spot like every time I walk through here Just to see if there's something in there Gila monster or a snake. I don't know something man Something hiding away. What is that? There's like toilet paper, tissue paper. That wasn't there before. This has got to have, because you could see like these little like uh, spheres. Like I think that's tunneling from snakes and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's definitely like snakes that go in here. But I don't see them. <sighs> Again, I'm not trying to play with them. I'm not trying to get bit. I just want to see one. It could be really cool to see one. So, it's all these rocks up here too. Just looking. <laughs> I just want to see something, man. It'd be so cool. You know, the crazy thing is looking for one, I'm not going to see one. But if I just stop looking for a critter, I, they'll pop up every time. Happens to me all the time. 
I saw this one thing actually up here. I can show you it in a minute, but like this thing was a huge white tail hiding under a rock. I don't know if it was like a snake or a lizard, but it had a huge white tail, like big tail. So I don't know what that would belong to. I looked into it, tried to research it. I could not find what animal that could be. It wasn't a rattlesnake, you know that, because you could see the tail and you can, you can see there's no rattle on it. But, um, and I, maybe you could argue it doesn't have a rattle yet. I don't exactly know if rattlesnakes are born with a rattle or not. I know that they get more, I think it's like the more times they shed, the more uh, segments they have in the rattle, I believe it is. But I don't know they're actually born with a rattle or not. This thing seems like nothing, dude. I just don't see anything. There is actually a pack rat stuff up there but I don't know man the snakes not right now <clears throat> what are they talking about oh yeah I was talking about the animals though migrating uh yeah it's very possible though actually in the winter they go down to lower elevations because it gets cold or something but I think it's the other way around I believe they go up higher in the heat because they're they don't like the heat and whatnot but maybe it also makes them for them to go down in the winter, right? Because then, <clears throat> or sorry, to come down in the summer because that's when they have access, like that's when like plants and vegetation come back to life. So now they can find more uh, plants and vegetation to eat. But I don't, I really don't know how they work though, how that works. So this here is where I saw that same with some big tail. It's like under here, this like rock here. You can kind of see that crack, it was like down in there. I didn't see the body. I don't know if it was a litter or a snake, but it had a big tail. So, pretty cool. Oh, there's just so many places for them to hide. It's crazy. Like if I was like a lizard or a snake or whatever, man, I, I love it here. There's just so many places to just tuck away from the world. But, all right, I haven't really been talking about the hike, but obviously we have finished coming down the hill and now we're in the front sector again. So we're uh, almost done with the hike now. <laughs> So this is the anvil border, pretty cool looking border, but it doesn't climb. There's only like two, three climbs on it and really only one of them climbs that well. And that one's not like that incredible of a climb either, but it is pretty cool. And it's just like low ball. It's not like that fun, I think for that reason, but it is pretty cool holds and it is pretty cool movement, but it's not very tall, very low ball. And just, I don't know, it's just kind of goofy, like traverse <laughs> the whole time. And obviously here's Sentinel again. I guess I'll take a peek up the hill here, see if I can maybe see that snake again. But you know, if I really just started walking out here, like either up through this stuff or up through that stuff, I guarantee you I'd come across like a snake or something. I'm not that interested in really walking through there though, because obviously I, I'm very much more likely to get ambushed walking through there. <laughs> <clears throat> come across a snake on accident because there's all that like grass and stuff I just don't like the idea of walking through there and stepping on one sleeping on accident because I don't see it in the grass you know so but up here you know it's probably not as bad but I'm still not gonna walk around up there I don't really care that much yeah not seeing anything nothing Again, I don't. They don't really come out. I think they snakes do come out during the day to like sunbathe, but beyond that, I don't really think they come out very much. So, not seeing anything though. Make it like through like a rock under there and start a one. It might come out just to see what's going on, but I don't really want to actually harass the animals, even if that would work. I'd rather not harass them. Yeah, I don't know where that snake was, man. When I was over here, though, it was cool, though. It's very cool. You can see more, like, holes there. They might come out there. Man. It's 
Someone put rocks right there. That was not there before. Yeah, I hate this climb right here. This thing sucks. It's not like actually that bad climb, it's just so hard. All right, I don't see any. I guarantee I'll like come back here next time, see all sorts of crazy stuff because all my camera off. <laughs> it's always when I have the camera off. I see all these critters, but. All right, well, that's pretty much it. So we're going to head back up to the parking lot now. Um, pretty cool hike, I guess. I mean, if you were a hiker, I don't really think about enjoying it though because I'm just trying to go climb. So I'm kind of like dreading the hike generally because I'm just going to climb. If I was coming here to hike, I'd probably enjoy it a lot more. But because I'm focused on climbing, I don't really care. You see all those, those holes? I think that's from those like patch nose snakes. The small holes, the big holes are obviously from something much larger, of course. But the small ones I don't believe are obviously from those guys. The big ones, there's another hole there, they're everywhere. I think this particular area, like this front sector, Sentinel, has got like a den or something, big den nearby. Just a big hole there. I've never seen a scorpion out here actually. Never seen a scorpion yet. They're supposed to be very like common, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be pretty common. I mean, I guarantee you I just started like kicking these rocks around shit. If I just started kicking these rocks around, one would come around. I mean, that's probably how you find a snake too. You just start moving the rocks, but I haven't seen them. I've heard there's spiders out here too, like big spiders. I've heard tarantulas actually do come this far north. But I don't believe it'd be very common to see a tarantula out here. Oh, there's a lizard. Look at him go, he's hiding in the rocks, see? Lizards like the rocks. I don't see anything else by the rocks, so. Yeah, apparently tarantulas do come up here, but I don't, I don't think it's very common to see a tarantula up here. It's just too far north, too close to the forests. But. Apparently it's possible definitely to see him up here. All right, well, here's the last bit of the trail on the way out to the parking lot. So hopefully these videos are interesting, little hiking videos. I'm only gonna just do these two, just the one in and the one out. There's no point in doing it another time. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show. For anyone interested in seeing the hike, I pretty much did every day. Which obviously, you know, if you've been watching my vlogs, the first like months or two, I was just in this front sector. So I didn't even do any hiking then really. It wasn't until I branched out further to climb the stuff in the main valley that I had to do hiking. So, and also right now I'm doing the most hiking because I'm going to Spiral Helix, trying to project that route. So, <clears throat> but obviously I only got two weeks left, so. I may uh may not be doing that hike too much longer. <laughs> but very cool. Recorder cool here is uh that again behind me. So pretty cool. Here's the sign, I didn't show it last time. This trail is open to hikers, horseback riders actually. Wow, people are a lot of horseback through here. Bikers and closed motor vehicles and off motorized equipment. Violations punishable. So you got ATVs, motorbikes, and I guess trucks, bug buggies, maybe. I actually watched someone in a buggy come up here one time, just playing around. But uh, no one actually went into, I've never seen them in the valley, just they were up there. And then dirt bikers, a lot of times out there. But wow, horses, I, I didn't know horses were allowed here. Never seen horses here. All right, well, I'm gonna walk up to my car and end this video. I'm in this video right here actually, why not? No point in showing you the white walk up to my car. So, cause I'm in the parking lot right now, this is a parking lot, if you want to call it that. It's not really like a paved parking lot, but for this area, if you're going hiking or biking or climbing or horseback riding apparently, this is where you, you park your car. So, all right, well thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.
Actually, here, I'll show you my face. Why not? Take my camera off. All right, you can see me now. I look like an Arab. So I got my shirt on my head and then my hat on top, <laughs> hiding from the sun. All right, well, thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. And again, I'm Chad Parks. Um, I don't know why I said that. I messed up the outro. I'm Ty, I'm Chad Parks. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.